Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 5th, 2022. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Also, I uh, want to let you know we are in the week of September 9th, running through October 2nd, is Mercury Retro. This is the time frame of the unexpected, so be warned about that as well. Now, Pisces, you've got several people around you um, this week. Two that jump out are a Leo and a Virgo energy. You are surrounded by a healing energy, and you can expect some major changes this week. Uh, it's also time to make decisions. Oh, I want to throw out there in Aries as well. Making decisions that you've been putting off for too long, and there is some kind of an outing here, um, some kind of a celebration. So, yeah. All right, so let's get started here. Pisces, first card up, we have the Queen of Coins, and the Queen of Coins is in Aquarius energy, okay? This is financial stability, and we have the Knight of Cups, someone coming in to offer you that Knight uh, Cup of Love. It's going to come rushing in pretty much unexpected. We have a Sagittarius energy here with that Page of Wands coming in as the Messenger card, with the Popus, and the Popus is going to come up with, um, this is a woman that's coming in to take charge or to offer you some much needed direction, okay? Center of your reading, you have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love, um, and it could also resonate as a Scorpio energy. And with that, we have the Queen of Wands. Wow, lots and lots and lots of people. Leo energy, grounded, centered, taking authority, putting your foot down, being true to yourself. That's what I see here. All right, we have the moon. The moon comes in as divine timing. Now, when I speak to you about divine timing, I mean, things have to line up and fall in place for the next event to occur, okay? And with that, we have the Queen of Swords. Someone with a sharp tongue. This could be a Virgo energy, okay? And we have the Two of Cups. This is an outing, date night, unexpected get-together, two people. I'm thinking date night, but yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people surrounding you guys this week. Going to be crazy, chaotic, busy, but that's what you can expect with our Mercury Retro. All right, Pisces, let's go further with these messages. So what do I have here? We have the King of Cups. And King of Cups comes in with that unexpected offer in love. And I do want to throw out the word unexpected. We have the Death Card energy. So the Death Card under retro. Lots of emotions flying around. Okay. Endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. So one door closes, one door opens, it all goes down at once. It's just going to be kind of chaotic. Page of Pentacles comes in with a good business deal. This is actually coming rushing in, and it could resonate as a Capricorn energy. And we have the Hangman. You guys, for whatever reason, as crazy as energy is, you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. Just no movement around you. That is not the case whatsoever, okay? The hangman energy shows that you uh, need to be still. And when you are still, that you will actually get the clarity that you're seeking. With that, we have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups coming in with total happiness, total contentment, and wish fulfillment. And right beside that, the same thing with that Eight of Pentacles, okay? Eight of Pentacles is coming in with money in addition to. Could be the sale of an item, could be a small win, but it's something in addition to your regular pay. The Moon card comes in, and here we have the Three of Pentacles. Working, gaining, working on building your money, working on an investment. And we have Temperance. Again, Sagittarius energy here. Temperance says you have recognized and embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. Therefore, you're changing things up and doing things differently. And then we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess comes in and says, you know, you're very intuitive. You're very grounded. You're very centered. But you're not willing to trust your intuition. And it's telling you to trust where you're being led. Pisces, your bonus card, the star. Star comes in with wish fulfillment. This is also indicating any delays that occur this week of the 5th are actually in your favor. So, for example, 
if you need an ex extension on a deadline, that extension would be granted. So it's definitely to your advantage. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.